Today we are going to discuss about animal tissues. Till now we have learned about plant tissues. I hope you all have understood about the plant tissue and their functions. Just like them, animal tissues are also there. Tissues, we all know that they are made up of small cells. Cells together, combined together form tissues. So these tissues have, which have similar type of cells, performs a particular function. We'll go through the different forms, the different types of tissues. The basic level, animal tissues are of four types. These are the basic tissues. Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissue. So we'll see where are the location of these tissues and what are the functions of these tissues. Firstly, we'll discuss about epithelial tissue. Protective tissue that forms the outer and inner lining of the internal organs. So this forms the internal linings of the protective. Uh, this forms the internal protective tissue, acts like a lining for the internal organs. And the, uh, these epithelial tissues are again classified into four types. They are squamous, cuboidal, columnar, ciliated, depending on their structure. They are divided into four types, children. Epithelial tissue, this is a ground tissue. Ground in the sense, not, uh, this is the base of basic level. This is a basic level tissue actually. The epithelial tissue forms the outer lining of the internal organs which are present in your body. Animal tissue, it doesn't mean that it stays only in the animal. We are discussing about human beings also. Even in the human beings, we can find all these type of tissues. So firstly, we'll go with epithelial tissue. What are they different forms? Epithelial tissue are again divided into four types. So firstly, we'll discuss about the first type, which is squamous. Why it is called as squamous? Squamous, the, uh, these cells are usually flat. It is very thin and delicate. This epithelial tissue is very thin and delicate. Just once again, children. So this squamous epithelium are thin, delicate. They form the lining of the blood vessels and the lungs. They perform the function of transportation of substances. So we'll see. Where are these forms? Where are these squamous epithelial tissue? Are their children? They are present in the blood vessels and lungs. They form the lining. They form a thin layer, protective layer of blood vessels and lungs. So we can find the squamous epithelium in blood vessels and lungs. They even perform the function of transportation of substances. I want you all to underline it, children. You, do you have your course books with you? So show on your camera, everyone, so that I can see you all. Open your course book, take out the pencil, underline it with the pencil, children. Underline it with pencil. The cells of squamous epithelium are thin and delicate. They, where are they present? Underline this also. Sorry. The cells of squamous epithelium are thin and delicate. Underline it. They form the lining of the blood vessels and the lungs. They perform the function of transportation of substances. Underline it. I hope you have finished it. I'll uh, just erase everything. One second, Joshit, do you have any doubt? Yes, Joshit? Page number what, ma'am? Sorry? Page number. Okay, page number you're asking. Okay, that's fine. Page number 13. Page number 13. Yes, Srinika, you have any doubt? 
Srinika? You have raised the hand, Srinika. You have any doubt? Sorry, ma, I can't be able to unmute you. Just one second. Please put your hands down, children, if you don't have any doubts, because I'm getting confusion. <laughs> 